it's just a part of our heart just become synonymous with the bookies and it's a way for us to honor Charlotte and now to honor Sue Lubeck who passed last month So my mom started the store when I started school. Um, I think it was preschool. So, and this has been kind of her lifelong dream and, and her legacy. And she's built this incredible kind of community place for, for Colorado and states beyond. And, and throughout her entire life, that's, it's been her passion. Um, it's been her love and she loves the book. She loves the customers. She loves the staff. She was 87 when she passed away and it was still, she was still running the store as always. She never wanted to take vacations because it would take her away from the store. And so this was this is really her heart and soul and, and, and really built what's what we're sitting in here today. The store was actually in our house for the first, I don't know, 10, I remember 12, 10, 12 years. I would come home from school. Kids would be running around my house, they'd be playing in my room, people would be shopping in our living room and basement. My mom would never say no to anybody. And so we'd be sitting at dinner and somebody would ring the doorbell at night and it's like, oh, I just need a quick birthday present. And my mom would never say no to anybody. And so she would get up, we would be still be eating dinner and she would go run off and, and help the customer. When she started the store, one of, I think, one of her brilliant ideas was, and I think it really brought, kind of put her on the map, was she did book fairs. So she would load up her, she had a big van, I think there's a picture of it somewhere, and, and she would load the van up with books, drive to the stores, set up tables, and, and so she would be in, in, in schools all over, the, all over the state selling her books, and that got her on the map. She loves supporting kids and the people that, that taught kids or raise kids, so being parents and grandparents. Yeah, if you look around the store, it's probably 95% on kids and then, and then support materials for, for teachers as well. Because we've been here for 50 years, I mean, four generations potentially, of or three to four generations have been shopping at the store. And, and, and everywhere I go, I mean, it's, it's very rare when I don't meet somebody that, that doesn't have some connection to the store in, in some way or another. And it's cool. I mean, I love that about this. I love that about it's keep. It feels like you know Denver's grown so much over the past decade or two, and this it still kind of reminds me of what Denver was even before, and that that really kind of small, tight knit community. But there's still that. This is still kind of bringing that together, even though Denver has really exploded in growth. She loved pairing stuffed animals and books, and and she did that I think before anybody else. And and. There's a basement full of stuffed animals for that reason. And, and it's just, she, she just thought of things outside the box. She was an incredible, incredible mom to the three boys and our wives. Um, you know, my two kids are the local ones. She, I mean, she's been an incredible grandmother. I mean, it's even at nine and 12, they, their favorite thing at hers were to go spend overs on the weekends with her. She treated everyone with, with, with such respect and such gratitude that everyone kind of felt like she was like the, one of their best friends. I think the biggest one is like, just I'm proud of her for what she's able to, to, to create here. Um, I mean, it, in, the, in the early 70s, for women to, to start their own business was, was, was also pretty rare and unique. And, and she kind of had the, the goal and drive and, and really to take that risk to make it happen. And it proved out. And I mean, I'm just, I, I'm just so incredibly proud of what she was able to, to create and, and also create this legacy for, that, I, that I hopefully will continue on even beyond, beyond her. And, We had planned with Sue the 50th anniversary of her store. So there is different entertainment scheduled throughout the day, um, which would be great. We're having a sidewalk sale. We're doing grab bags. The party will make her happy. And so now we're looking forward to it. We had to get through our, our shock and our grief first. We just want to make it fun and just and, and get people out and I think it's going to be a gorgeous weekend and, and I'm glad that we can open our doors and, and people can come in and, and celebrate with all of us and also celebrate the life of mom.
We needed to keep, keep the schedule going for Sue. She considered us family and we, especially people here like myself who don't have relatives here, considered her family. And that's how she operated. We really did all know that, that this was so important to mom. And, and we, we brought up a couple on occasion. Um, hey mom, would you want to consider selling? It's like, hey, you're in your 80s now. And, and there was nothing to, be, nothing to even be talked about at that point, even though we tried gently. This was one of her babies and, and she really wanted to leave the earth with still having it here and under, under her control. The night my mom passed away, we're all sitting around. We had the whole family around. It could not have been more peaceful, um, which was kind of the silver lining. But my brother said, it's like, you know, she's probably already started the bookies in heaven. And I mean, it's just something that she would, we could totally see her doing that.